USS George H.W. Bush, CVN-77, the the final aircraft carrier of the Nimitz class, has officially begun sea trials following a 10-month availability period. This marks a major milestone in the ship's ongoing efforts to remain at the cutting edge of naval warfare capabilities. During this extended overhaul, the USS George H.W. Bush underwent a comprehensive upgrade to enhance its functionality and performance. Key systems were modernized, including navigation, communications, weapons, and combat control systems. These improvements ensure the carrier can support the latest aircraft and onboard technologies, preparing it for future operational demands. Now, as the ship heads into sea trials, the focus is on rigorously testing all upgraded systems. The trials will assess critical areas such as propulsion, power generation, combat readiness, and operational resilience. This is a crucial phase in determining whether the ship is fully prepared to return to its vital role in the U.S. Navy. The Nimitz-class carriers are essential to the United States naval power projection. They undergo regular maintenance to ensure their operational readiness and longevity. This includes routine upkeep, major overhauls, and nuclear refueling, each tailored to address the unique needs of these nuclear-powered vessels. One of the most significant events in a Nimitz-class carrier's life cycle is the refueling and complex overhaul, RCOH. This extensive process, which occurs once during a carrier's 50-year service life, combines nuclear refueling with comprehensive modernization. The goal is to replace the ship's nuclear fuel, upgrade critical systems, and ensure it meets the latest technological standards. These overhauls are conducted at specialized facilities like Newport News Shipbuilding, the sole yard capable of performing such complex work. Currently, the USS John Seed Stennis, CVN-74, is undergoing its own RCOH at this facility. In between major overhauls, Nimitz-class carriers also undergo planned incremental availability PIA periods. These shorter cycles focus on upgrades, repairs, and ensuring the ship remains ready for duty. For example, in 2018, the USS Nimitz spent 10 months at Puget Sound Naval Shipyard for a PIA, during which essential maintenance was performed to maintain its operational capacity. As the USS George H.W. Bush continues its sea trials, these efforts show the U.S. Navy's commitment to maintaining its fleet of Nimitz-class carriers at the highest standards. With these ongoing upgrades and rigorous testing, the ship is poised to continue serving as a vital asset for years to come. Thank you.